Now what we're going to do is generate a new component to our app. That is something that is going to control how our app kind of works. So I'll do ngg and component and then the component name, whatever we want to name it. So serve up the project that we are kind of building towards is like a video site, right? So think of it as a YouTube playlist or multiple playlists on its own application or more specifically a YouTube channel as its own website. Let's think of it like that. That's essentially what we're moving towards with this project. So I'm going to create a new component and I'll call them video list. Notice how I actually capitalized it. I press enter and see that it creates these components, right? I could try and do video dash detail, press enter. It still does the same thing. Okay. So um, Angular is really smart with how this stuff works out, but basically you're going to want to do one of these two formats uh, specifically. So let's go ahead and look at video list. We click on the component. I see that I've got a selector here called app dash video dash list. I've got a template. I've got styles URL this time. We'll talk about that in a moment, but um, I also have a few other things. Number one, I see that I have a new thing in here called implements on in it. That's, a, a, that's essentially extending how this component works. It's not inheriting from on in it, it's extending it. So that is, if you didn't implement this, um, it will run an error, but the constructor specifically for on in it, you, you don't have to actually call super like you would um, in if you were inheriting from another class. Just keep that in mind. So that's where implements on in it comes in. The next thing is, of course, we have this new template. So this is the video list template. And then we have some CSS and also a test file. Not really going to cover that right now, but what we have is all of the stuff we need for this particular component. Now, me personally, I don't like having app in front of it. So I'm going to keep it as video list for my selector. And since I did that with video list, I'm going to change that also on video detail. Notice it says app video detail. We have basically a lot of the same sort of stuff in here. It's not really that complicated at this point, right? It's really straightforward. So when I ran this command or these commands, I see that it created those files, no big deal. And then it updated our app.module.ts. So what it did was it actually added these components automatically into our module. It's kind of like saying that these things are installed already. It did it for us. That is awesome. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is, I talked about how it bootstrapped app component as the main app. Well, what if I change app component to video list component and I just did ng serve. Well, it's gonna compile some stuff, so I'll give it a moment to do that. Now that it's done compiling, let's go ahead and take a look at our page. And I refresh and I get an error saying video list did not match any elements. So let's go ahead and we saw this error already. Do you remember where it happened? Let's go into index and change this from serve up root to video list. Video list again, because of our component, here's the selector. We changed our module to run off of that. We saved everything and it looks like it's successful. And there we go, we've got video list works. So I just really wanted to show you essentially how you can enter your app with a different component. Now, I don't suggest that you do that. In, in fact, I suggest that you stick with their convention and stick with app component. Now, if you wanna change these, you totally can. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm actually gonna go back on what I already said and keep it at app root. And the reason for this has to do with other developers. Now, other developers, I wanna make sure that they know exactly where my root or that module is, this bootstrap module, by sticking with the convention that Angular CLI does. Now, if Angular CLI changes, stick with that convention. I think it's gonna be the easiest for you and your team or whoever you end up working with um, to stick with that convention all the time. Now, the other things about video list and video detail components. Now, I don't think that app dash changes 
the selector, right? So like I don't have app dash video list. I don't think that's as important as what I just said, because if you just look at the components and you app dash video list doesn't work, but video list does, you can see that those components are there. Whereas when I called it serve up app, this app doesn't say serve up dash app. It just says app component or it doesn't say serve up component because that's starting to muddy the waters quite a bit. So that's how you generate a new component. Do you remember how to do it? It's really simple. NG G component and then your component name. And that is how you go about generating it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.